Lesson 1. The Five Love Languages After 30 years of marriage counselling, Gary Chapman recognised five ways that people speak and understand emotional love. These are the five love languages, and by understanding them, you could save your relationship now and for many years to come. Your love language and the language of your partner may be as different as Chinese from English. So no matter how hard you try to express love in English, if your spouse understands only Chinese, then you'll never understand how to love each other. This is why your partner may feel frustrated with you, even if you feel like you do all these things for her, like bringing money home and helping out in the kitchen. We all have what Gary calls an emotional love tank, and for a healthy relationship to thrive, each partner's love tank must be filled by being spoken to in their love language. The rest of this video will show you what the five love languages are and how to discover what your love language is. Language 1. Words of Affirmation these can be verbal compliments or kind words. It could be as simple as saying, I love the dress you're wearing, or I love you. I personally don't resonate with this language, so although I appreciate my girlfriend telling me she loves me, it wouldn't kill me if she never told me that. The second language is quality time. This is giving or receiving undivided attention. This means putting the phone down and listening to your partner. Whether you just sit down and talk for an hour or go for a walk together, the purpose of quality time is to experience something together without distractions, like compulsively checking your Twitter notifications. This is one of my primary love languages, so I love going on walks and playing board games with my girlfriend. While board games with my girlfriend and a group of friends is enjoyable, her attention is scattered amongst everyone else, so it doesn't fill my love tank. The third language is receiving gifts. Growing up, I've never been into gift giving. Sure, I appreciate receiving gifts, especially when I was young and Christmas time was coming around. I would salivate at the thought of getting a Yu-Gi-Oh! Jewel Disc for Christmas. But now I don't expect anything and nor do I think it's necessary in a relationship. A hug or joke is enough to fulfill me. But my girlfriend loves receiving gifts. This is one of her primary love languages. I'm so thankful for discovering this sooner than later, because I could have went through life thinking gifts were unnecessary, which would lead to not filling her love tank. I now enjoy bringing her little surprises, whether that's her favourite chocolate or a handwritten note. Even if you can't afford to buy things, you can offer the gift of your presence. Maybe you could visit your partner by surprise and give them a hug. Language 4. Acts of Service this is doing things you know your partner would like you to do. It could be going to church together, washing the dishes, or paying the bills. If you're the one that wants the jobs done, then make sure you don't demand your partner to do them. Just give gentle requests and make them reasonable. I recommend reading the book How to Win Friends and Influence People to help you with this. I made a video on it, which I'll leave in the description below. The last language is physical touch. Holding hands, kissing, and sex are all ways of speaking this love language. Your partner knows best what she perceives as a loving touch. So make an effort to learn what she likes. Ask them if you're not sure. My girlfriend and I both share this love language. Some of our favourite things to do are simply cuddling and tickling each other to insanity. Now with the love languages out the way, we go on to lesson two. Love is a choice. The media loves to emphasise the idea of being madly in love forever. But this is reality, guys. Chapman listened to a lady describe her 12 years of marriage, a story he had heard countless times before. The relationship used to be exciting during the peak of the in-love experience, and now it has turned stale. Her husband's love tank was empty, and her tank was running out. Chapman explains that as the in-love experience fades, it's up to us to make a choice to love by speaking our partner's primary love language. So how do you discover your love language? There are three ways. Number one, what does your partner fail to do that causes you the most pain? The opposite of what causes you that pain is most likely your love language. Number two, what have you requested from your partner the most? That is likely the thing that makes you feel most loved. And number three, how do you express love to your partner? Your way of expressing love may indicate that it would also make you feel loved. People have many questions about love languages, so I've left 15 answers to the most frequently asked questions in the description below. Let's review the five love languages and the three lessons we covered in this video. The five love languages, words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, physical touch, love as a choice, and how to discover your love language. And before I go, for any loyal subscribers, or maybe you've just stumbled across my channel, uh, I offer YouTube coaching services where I help people that are putting a lot of effort into their YouTube channels, and I help them grow it much faster. Uh, based on going from zero to 10,000 subscribers in nine months, I've learned a whole lot of things. I've already coached uh, multiple satisfied clients and I would love to help you too. So head to percentbetter.com slash coaching if you're interested and yeah, hopefully we'll chat soon. Cheers guys.